Alright everybody, uh, we're back here on Bear Rock Logging today, and this is episode number two on our, our first series here on Farming Simulator 19, and uh, I just sold the uh, Komatsu processor, or harvester, or whatever, and I bought this, uh, this is the uh, this is the new and improved one uh, that came with, uh, there's a forestry pack out there that's got all different, uh, well the end game stuff, the buffalo, the scorpion, the two Komatsu machines and something else maybe. Anyway, the weights have been adjusted. You're supposed to be able to cut different lengths now. Check that out. It goes all the way to 18. Yeah, all the way up to 18. I'm probably going to be doing 16s. But uh, it also gives you the option of uh, different color choices, which is really cool. So I blacked it out. I think that looks neat. But uh, anyway, we're going to head back over to our job site and get busy because if you remember from last time, we um, we got we got started over that direction. And I was like, why am I over, even over there? I just need to go over to where the, the landing's at. So just right here to the, the right of this dirt road, there is a uh, landing. We got everything set up up here. And this, uh, this machine does drive a bit faster, too. You can see we're had gotten up to, I think I saw about 23 miles an hour there. But anyway, we're going to get started cutting here and attempt to uh, get us a little pile of trees. Wow, this is sure sensitive. Oops, cut that a bit high. <laughs> probably try to cut that off a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get used to this, uh, this deal here because it's awfully sensitive. It's quick. Very, very quick. <laughs> I wonder if I can adjust some sensitivity settings or something. There seems to be a lot more stuff you can adjust in 19 these days. Oh, look there. I got an achievement. Jeez, my work email is blowing up. It's lunchtime, people. Well, I'm kind of making a mess of things, but I just don't really have a good way of uh, making a nice, neat pile at the moment. Still waiting on somebody to come out with a processor. Need one bad. This thing here does okay, but... Boy, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the sensitivity on this thing. Let's see if there's uh, anything I can do to adjust the sensitivity. And it's probably going to have to be... Game settings, here we go. Let's 
I don't even have traffic, so I'm going to turn that off. Dark, dirt, normal imaging. I'm going to turn that off because I like the way that that works before with it off. Yeah, I just don't see anything. General settings. Vehicle arm sensitivity. Maybe if I bump that down just a little. Easy arm controls off. Yeah, let's see what that does. That seems to be a little better. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I was, oh my goodness. I was trying to uh, get this skitter uh, driven out here to this field. I was just going to see if, uh, you know, how well that, because I got a, uh, let me, I'll just show you this. I got a new flatbed. Well, yeah, I disconnected it. It's up there on the hill. And then I was trying to back the truck up to get the run and start to, Push the skitter back over, and then it, yeah, it just drove off the. Didn't realize there was a cliff back there. Plus, that tree kind of got me. I wonder if I should. I can, maybe I can just cut that tree down. Maybe I can go up the hill and get a good run and start and really ram that skitter. There we go. Okay, so that worked. Okay, so what I was attempting to do, since we're not really going to use the skitter, was I was basically just wanting to see how well that truck with that new low boy that I've got on there uh, would would handle this skitter. And it seemed to do okay, because uh, I was hoping that that low boy would be just a little bit more off the ground than the in-game one. Because uh, whenever I was trying to move the uh, grapple loader, it's way heavier than anything that's in the game right now, the stock game equipment, so I was having problems because uh, I need to come back and, and probably smooth out some of these roads just a little bit more, which is, again, more of the testing I was, you know, wanting to do. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to reset that. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that alone. All right, um, we're starting to get a, a fair amount of logs built up, and so what I want to do is let's just go sell this stuff because uh, these are shorts, and I want to put those longs on there. Maybe it'll be all right on this trailer. stop and check in. I don't know why I put that there. I thought it looked kind of cool, but I probably should have done something different. And on map number two, I am doing something different. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go around this way. This truck does sound good, though. I don't know if you can hear that. And 
my horn's kind of wimpy. Was a quick thirty-one thousand dollars, and thing wasn't even full. Well, that's a long trailer. This little bump right here, I was concerned about it in the front end of the truck does go up pretty high. I may smooth that out just a little bit. So yeah, no, no time frame yet on release of this map. I'm still doing some testing. In fact, uh, I've got some days off coming up here pretty soon. So I'm planning on uh, doing a whole bunch of testing those days if I can break free from any, any other thing that may come up. <laughs> uh, I've... Uh, I've gotten myself into a project <laughs> from my mother-in-law <laughs> Oh, that I probably, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a big job. She's, she got an, a new house trailer and she's wanting a uh, deck built onto it and that's going to be a project. Many weekends of work. Oh, and since I slowed it down it's going to be slow for this too. Oh well. We'll deal with it. But yeah, she's wanting a big deck, and I don't know when she sees the price of that, if that's going to work out. But anyway, we'll, we'll just have to go take it as it goes. Okay, it does go a little faster. I was exaggerating there just a little bit. I was <clears throat> trying to make sure I didn't knock anything loose so in case you missed it or haven't seen it yet uh, FDR is coming out with another grapple for this thing so as you know this uh, grapple attaches and detaches so you can put different things on there which I think is a good idea uh, the the next grapple he's coming out with is uh, it's probably more for short logs because uh, this one um, it seems to do pretty well in the longs but uh, it's it's fairly narrow like if you look at it from straight on like this you know it's pretty narrow and the other one he's coming out with is a little bit wider and it's got more teeth on it so it should be able to grab the small stuff pretty good he just announced that I believe Let's see, it would have been yesterday for you guys, today for me, since I'm recording this on Thursday. Just trying to get those bunched up. Probably shouldn't be worrying about those right now. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them off to the side. I'll try putting them over here somewhere. Maybe that won't be in the way when I'm getting the trucks turned around. I don't think it will be. Well, the uh, adjustment I made for the arm, whatever on the har or harvester, is a little bit too slow now for this one, but not much I can do about it. I 
I guess nobody's taking a lunch break today. Good grief. My email, work email is blowing up. Hit the right button. kind of trying to cut in the straight lines and I'm grabbing the ones that are more off to my right that way whenever I back up they're on the right side of the machine well, unless they flip over like that which I was afraid of So I don't have the PDA done for this map yet, but uh, we'll just sort of cut in a straight line. There's nothing, I mean, it's just nothing but trees, straightforward, so I mean, there's no risk of running into anything. There is a river up there somewhere, but we're still a pretty good ways off from that. In fact, I think we'd have to, let's see, we came in from that direction, the river is that back that way, so we'd have to cut pretty well to the left to get to the river so we're not in any danger of that. Try to sort these just a little bit. So while I'm thinking about it, you guys uh, head over to Facebook and like me over there. Uh, just look for NLA Gaming. Uh, there's maybe a link in the video description. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, there's sort of a big announcement coming up pretty soon. Uh, it's not about Bear Rock, so don't get excited when I'm, I'm not ready to release it just yet. I still got testing and stuff to do, and I know I've been saying that for a while. But it, I am getting pretty close on Bear Rock. I, I figure maybe another another week or two probably. Uh, maybe more, I'm not sure. I got a few things I got to fix first. So I don't want to release it until it's ready to go. And I'm not going to get any big hurry to release it and then everybody complain about the things that are messed up that needs fixing. So just wait on that. But uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty minor things. I mean, nothing big. So shouldn't take too long to get it fixed. Oh, that one went crazy. Um,. But yeah, just stay tuned over there, and I'll try. I'll, I'll definitely make an announcement here on the YouTube channel whenever I get ready to uh, announce my big news. But uh, anyway. That's 
pretty small tree. So we're making fairly short work of this. It's just taking a little bit longer to have to drive them back to the landing and process them there. But, I mean, at least we're not having to skid them up and then process them. I, I, don't know, I guess that's one advantage to this machine. I sure would like to skid them and then process them at the landing, though. Because I can get uh, several trees skid up at the one time if I had a cable skidder or even well even a grapple skidder would be nice uh, I'm not, I don't care too much for that John Deere one that's, that y'all saw a minute ago that's out it's it's always got some quirks to it that's a big tree there I like how dense the forest looks. I put a lot of bushes and stuff in the in the inside the forest itself. Uh, on some future maps, I probably won't do that quite as much, just because I think it does hurt the frame rate just a little. Because I did notice whenever there was a lot of bushes and stuff in the in the frames, it seemed to hurt it a little. But I mean, not not terrible, but just enough to, to notice. I do like the way it gives it a nice dense forest look. These bushes are really cool. Giants did a really good job on that. I wish they had done some other things differently, but these bushes are just just crazy good. I mean, look at that. They move whenever the, the, the head hits them. and Just all kinds of neat stuff. The grass even moves. You see it moving when I drive over it. I did a mod review of this uh, Tiger Cat 880 loader by FDR Logan, so if you missed that, go check it out. I didn't really, I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can go into much detail about it, other than just the way it looks and performs. Uh, so it's not a super detailed mod review. We just did a, a little bit of logging with it just to kind of test it out, but. I do like the grapple. It, uh, it it grabs the trees really well, the single trees quite well. Um, now, when you start getting into multiple trees, it does kind of tend to I don't know get a little squirrely. But I mean that's that's nothing that's against the machine. It's just giants the way the game physics work and the tree physics and all that.
And the, the weight of the machine is pretty good too. I've got a, a pretty full grandpa load there. It's, and the machine's pretty steady. It hasn't tried to tip over or anything. It does seem to pick up the small trees pretty good too. That was always a complaint I had about uh, all over on 17 is the, the ground poles on, on any machine really never seemed to want to pick up the small trees very well, but it does a really good job here. Now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't changed the sensitivity thing. You can see the, the trees, every once in a while, they'll sort of bounce around there in the trailer. But uh, eventually they'll settle, and they won't, they won't do that. That's nice about 19 also. I, I saw a video where FDR was doing some testing on the new tree physics, and he piled a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know if you saw this a minute ago, it's on, on the other side of the trailer over there, there's a little, little pile of stuff that you can actually sell this stuff that right there he popped up a bunch of that kind of stuff and uh, a whole bunch of them and it uh it bounced around for a little while but eventually it stopped This uh, stump grinder is kind of flaky. Got to get just in the right spot.
You must be fun grinding stumps in these bushes where you can't even see where the stumps are. <laughs> Yep, so my plan right now is to uh, finish up those little minor detail things on this map that needs fixing. And then uh, maybe this weekend, but for sure whenever I'm off, coming up pretty soon, uh, I should be able to get the, the final testing done. And then I'll probably send it to a couple people to test on their machines, and then I'll probably release it at that point after everything is okay. Um, as far as getting it on console, um, I'm leaning towards no because I don't have a console to even test it on. I mean, I, I don't really like to do it, but I don't know if that's, you know, how that would even work. I suppose I'd just have to send it to Giants and they would say yes or no because I don't, I guess there's, I guess there'd be no way of doing it any other way. I mean, there's no way of testing, I don't think. Not sure.
these trees do seem a bit heavy compared to uh, 17. I think they did adjust the weights on them. Which makes sense. They, they don't roll as much and all that. Alright, we can cut a, put a few more trees on here. Let's get, see if we can get enough cut to make us another load before we have to end the video today. I'll try to get some big trees.
All right, let's cut down a couple more trees and I should have enough for a load. Well, if I can go the right way. Yeah, I'm pretty well convinced that this harvester is more suited for smaller, you know, short, short logs, not these big tall ones you know for processing them into that not just cut them down in general but is it uh, doesn't want to seem to handle the big long logs very well
Oh, it's off of there, that's why. It's like, why is that not getting straight? But it's not even on on the back. Oops, shouldn't have dropped that. See how that's looking. That's looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna call that a load, actually. Alright, let's go sell this, and that's about all the time we got for today. We'll get the truck back up here and ready to go for another another load. Yep, that's heavy. That is definitely heavy. Well... We don't have a winch to get us back over. We just have to get the loader, I guess. Well, certainly didn't plan on that, but I should have known taking that uh, that curve was, I took it a little bit too fast. Uh, this kind of load, we're kind of going down at an angle and around to the right, so it's, uh, those logs are really heavy. That trailer's heavy too, I know. Let's see if we can get us back up right here. I'll try to grab just one of those bolsters that oh, I missed. Let's try grabbing this one. There we go. Now let's go a little slower this time. We got a load this time. Last time we weren't quite as loaded. And these trees are much heavier than 17. Best I can figure. It's gonna go real slow. Because uh, this trailer is pretty tall, and we got a bunch of load on there, so it's, it's probably pretty top heavy. It's trying to tump over or even just going around the curve there. Just got to be careful. Boom! 40, almost $46,000. <laughs> Alright everybody, well that's going to do it for episode number two. I'm going to get the truck back up there to the landing and get it turned around so we'll be ready to go for next time. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, maybe by next time we'll see some more mods come out. I don't know. Um, there's, uh, I don't, I don't really. Oops, I missed a turn. There's, uh, I don't really know if there's anything special coming out here pretty soon. But I just know that, you know, FDR's crews hard at work on other stuff. Uh, uh, I've seen a few things that's coming down the pipe that I can't really talk about. I don't think because. Uh, well, if you're a patron, you probably would know, but uh, I don't think they'd want me releasing any kind of information without, uh, you know, before it's publicly announced, I guess I should say, so I shouldn't say anything, but some good stuff coming. Good stuff. And I've got some logs in the way. Maybe I can squeeze in between them. Just barely. I th 
think just to the left of those bushes back there is where I've been parking. So let me see if I can't get in there a little better. That'll work. All right. I'm going to get the uh, grab a loader back up here and we'll be ready to go for next time. So uh hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Bear Rock Logging. And uh, next time, like I said, when we come back, we'll be uh, working on another, just another load, trying to get some more wood cut. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe there'll be something new out that we can play with. But uh, anyway, until then, y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks for watching.